Good evening, everyone. I'm Leah Cooper with your JCN News for this Wednesday, August 19th. National Emergency Management Agency says it's closely monitoring a weather disturbance which could threaten the country in the coming days. A broad area of low pressure is located some 1,000 miles east of the Windward Islands and has a 90% chance of developing into a tropical storm over the next few days. According to a statement issued this morning, the system can possibly affect the country by Sunday. Here's Deputy Director of the Department of Meteorology, Jeffrey Simmons. Um, right now, the, the last track we have of it um, is still moving toward the, the, the Bahamas. The, the latest, um, like yesterday morning, um, the consensus track of uh, the possible development of it going, passing um, right through the Bahamas from Inago all the way up to Grand Bahama. Um, the latest track is just shifted slightly to the south. It's still affecting the islands and basically all of the islands of the bottom, particularly the islands more to the west, which would be like in Agua, Ragged Island, Andros. Long Island, those islands like that. Now, Director of the Bahamas Department of Meteorology, Trevor Baston, says the system has the likelihood of strengthening into a hurricane as it passes through the Bahama chain of islands, adding that as early as tomorrow, meteorologists could begin issuing alert messages. Residents throughout the Bahamas are being advised to closely monitor the progress of the system and to heed local advisories. Director of NEMA, Captain Stephen Russell, is reminding residents that the hurricane seasons runs from June 1st to November 30th. And at this point, they should have basic preparations in place to safeguard their families, homes, and businesses. A disturbing rise in COVID-19 cases in New Providence and additional deaths prompted an announcement of a seven-day lockdown for the capital by the competent authority. An impending tropical storm being monitored by the Bahamas Department of Meteorology and the National Emergency Management Agency prompted a reverse in that. Our Lissy Bastian has the details on the Prime Minister's change of heart. Grocery stores, gas stations, water depots, and hardware stores were allowed to resume operations this morning at 6 a.m. The possibility of a tropical storm heading towards the Bahamas prompted the reversed decision by the Prime Minister just one day after announcing a complete lockdown of New Providence. However, many believe it's the protest held by Bahamians on Windsor Park who voiced their frustration that the capital was shut down without any warning or time to prepare for seven days days with no movement. Following the protest, organized by Operation Sovereign Bahamas, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minis released a statement on adjustments to the New Providence lockdown. Dr. Minis in his statement reiterated that his first priority is always to protect the health and safety of Bahamians and noted that after his announcement on Monday night, Bahamians from all walks of life raised concerns. As a result, two things he said were made clear from discussions, and those were that there is a broad understanding of the need to lock down in order to control and slow the spread of the virus. However, it is also clear that families and businesses need more time to prepare. Noting that he had a meeting with the Department of Meteorology and NEMA, who are closely monitoring a weather system. To that end, the Prime Minister announced that adjustments to the New Providence lockdown had to be made. Until further notice, grocery stores, pharmacies, water depots, gas stations and hardware stores may operate from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. Food wholesalers and manufacturers will also be allowed to operate during this period. The Prime Minister says that the Bahamian people's best interest guides his decisions, noting that these are difficult times in our country. Dr. Minis says that he will provide additional details as it relates to the lockdown for the capital later this week. For JCN News, I'm Lissy Bastien. Banks have also been given the green light to operate normal banking hours as Bahamians prepare for an impending storm. 
In a statement from the Office of the Prime Minister, it's advised that commercial banks along with insurance companies, brokers and agents may operate between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. to allow residents to make the necessary preparations for the developing weather system. The public is reminded that as you go about making preparations, do your part to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Please wear your face mask when leaving home, keep a distance of six feet from others, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use a 70% alcohol-based hand sanitizer. If soap and water are not available, cover your cough or sneeze in your inner elbow or with a tissue and clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. The opposition's happy with this decision. Deputy leader of the Progressive Liberal Party, Chester Cooper, in a statement last evening, says it's been an unnecessary chaotic time. However, he expressed satisfaction with the prime minister's change of course to allow residents time to prepare. Following the prime minister's national address on Monday, Mr. Cooper said the lockdown imposed without any warning was especially cru cruel rather, and questioned what were Bahamians who were without simple necessities like food and water to do. He urged the Prime Minister to reconsider. Now, Mr. Cooper also thanked Bahamians who raised their voices against the sudden imposition of the lockdown and urged everyone to make their preparations as best they're able and to look out for those who might be who might require assistance to continue to follow the advice of public health officials. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news was brought to you by Alive.